hello everybody welcome to another edition of around the major league soccer show with sam right here on asn sports tv after the night that houston dynamo won their second u.s open cup finals and um spoke to ben Olsen, you know ahead of their um restart of the league matches as they host fc dallas in a texas derby here at the shell energy stadium ben Olsen was our smiles and I think this should be his second major trophy he's winning in his career as a manager. And I spoke to him and um, he has this thing to respond to some questions I laid out for him. This has been awesome. Tired. Uh, tired but happy. And, and that's, you know, I, I, you should be after uh, a night like that. Uh, we got back. And, uh, a little later than usual, but it was, again, just a, a great night for well, for the players, staff, you know, City Houston, and, and, and uh, our fans. So it was just, uh, again, we're, just, we're thrilled to hold a trophy. And we didn't, uh, you always want to win and, and, and hold the silver at the start of this year. We expect to be in a position to do that. I don't know. Uh, in some ways, it was a building year. And, in this tournament sped up and it gave us an opportunity to uh, win and, and uh, kind of push this process to, to go a little faster and uh, again we're just thrilled to do that and uh, get, a little, get a little publicity and some, some good press around the club uh, but we also understand now that uh, Dallas comes you know a rival comes in town in two days and uh, we, we got a job which is our other objective and our main objective of the whole year is to, to get in the postseason, and that's still not there. And, and we have to uh, get a few results here over the course of the next several games to, to uh, kind of fulfill that, that second objective. And if we can do that, then we'll, 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 we'll shoot for the stars. Ivan, um, Sam here. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, the last time we spoke, you said you won't put yourself at the back because you know, now you've done something, getting a trophy. Second objective, making the playoff. Now, having won this um, trophy, I saw the excitement and celebration. How do you plan to keep the team focused or bring them back to and the second objective of business in Dallas? Yeah, we, have, we have no choice, and that, that's a good thing, right? If, if we have points in the bag and, and we had some time to uh, relax, uh, but that would be a, a different scenario. We really have no choice but to enjoy it last night and this morning, and then tomorrow it's back to work. We focus fully on balance and try to get into the postseason. We still want to win at home. We still think we can put a good team together with the right energy, but it's going to take a lot of players to, uh, to, to handle that. We put a lot into the last game. Uh, and then a quick turnaround to go to Montreal, which is a tough place to play. And then we're coming back here uh, uh, against Colorado. So it's going to take everybody over this next week. Motivation, I don't, uh, I don't see it going in the wrong direction. In some ways, this pours a little fuel on uh, wanting to, to, to go for more. And so I, I, don't, I, I don't worry too much about that. Also, when I had to ask Ben Olsen about the situation of Ifnaya Achara, whom they got from Toronto FC, because I saw him during the celebration um, after Houston won the US Open Cup, and he responded like this. I saw Ifnaya Achara um, in celebration yesterday in Miami. What is the situation like? But well, he hasn't featured for the senior team this season. Who's this? Ifnaya Achara. Achara? Yes, sir. Listen. I've been injured a lot as a player. I had 11 surgeries and I sat on the sidelines for over you know, two full seasons. So when I see players that get injured, and I know what they're feeling. I know how hard it is for them to sit and watch, uh, you know, all these players play week in, week out while you're in the gym and you're doing rehab. Uh, it's really, really a, a, a grind, both physically and mentally. To be injured, and so I, I get a lot of respect for uh, him and Tate. Uh, a bunch of these guys have been out with long-term injuries, 
and uh, to see him working and, and just being around, he's a great teammate, he's a great locker room. So he's even working with the academy, he's been coaching uh, as well and, and do, you know, filling his time that way. So uh, not easy and to see these guys understand that they're still a part of the team on a night like that and to see joy in their face is, is very special. Remember, um, the MLS website ran a, a headline which I found a little bit disrespectful or kind of undermining the, the achievement and success of this Houston Dynamo team. And I put that question across to Ben Olsen. You know, let me just see what he thinks about that headline. And this is his response. Especially that we, you know, it, it was a, that was a special game. This was a special game. They're all different. It's all different, Jerry. I can't. I can't pick in between uh, my children. As I was going through MLS.com site, they ran a headline which got me thinking. Houston Dynamo upset Messi less I know. Um, in Tampa, I mean, I mean, when you read that kind of headline, aren't they downplaying or demanding the yeah, mass of your team? Uh, listen, there's no asterisks with this one. I don't, I don't care. We, we're not concerned about that. We're, we're, you know, we have uh, every team has issues and injuries. And, just because, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think Miami's speaking that as a team. You know, I got a lot of respect for what they've done there. I think it's been an incredible uh, transformation of the team. And the atmosphere was great. They're, you know, I think the effect on the ownership group has done a phenomenal job. And they're, they're a huge asset to this, um, to, to this league and what they've done and bringing the greatest player of all time in here. Uh, it's just wonderful. I don't care. I, I, that doesn't concern me uh, on the day and, and what, what the press is writing about Messi list or Alba list. Yeah, they're good players. They, but they, they put on good players for them. And, and, and uh, we played very well. So we'll never know. Two goals in the finals and shout out. Um, great defense, great midfield, great offense. Now Dallas um, come to town. You know, have you, what weakness in Dallas do you think your team going to exploit to still maintain that high level of performance that we've known them over the season? Well, I, I, I don't know. You know, we're, we're, we're I got to leave here and dig into them a little bit more, but we have a good feel for, for who they are. Uh, yeah, I've been also went ahead to elaborate on what um, we should be expecting from the team on Saturday against FC Dallas and also the mentality that the boys will be having. And he said that he is not worried at all about um, their state of mind, their, 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 their mentality, because that is their second objective. The first one was to win the U.S. Open Cup. But he said that, the, yeah, they, they plan to win a trophy, but as the U.S. Open Cup progresses, they now see a path to victory. And regardless of the fact that if Messi was not on the pitch, the team paraded the best players they have in their squad, in their deep roster. And he spoke about Joseph Martinez, an MLS veteran from Atlanta United. Remember him? He even got a goal against Dynamo. Their only goal was gotten by Martinez. And other great players played that night. So it wasn't all about Messi not playing. It's about the team parading uh, um, um, great players they have deep on their roster. And at the end of the day, Houston Dynamo came out 2-1 victorious and it is what it is. They are champions regardless of what headline MLS.com casted. It will no way diminish the performance or the achievement of this team. All right, so this is week number 35 and we have a lot of matches um, across both East and Western Conference. Now we are down the stretch uh, in the league and then uh, wherever you see your team right now on the log, that summarizes what your team have been doing all season long. In the Eastern Conference, only two slots left for the playoffs. Seven slots have been taken. In the West, only one team have confirmed their playoff status, and that is um, the, the, the table topping St. Louis City Football Club. Other teams, even though yeah, they are sure of making the postseason, but there are still chances for other teams uh, to sneak in and grab that um, playoff spot. So we're going to see some of the matches that we have in this um, week number 35 as they come fast and furious. Yes, Columbus crew will be at home to welcome Philadelphia Union in an all-heavyweight Eastern 
Conference clash. Columbus Screw, Philly Union, they've all picked up playoff tickets. So now everybody is fighting for a position. Who will be the number one seed, number two, number three, to the number ninth seed? Inter Miami, who just lost to Houston Dynamo in the U.S. Open Cup, will be at home to welcome New York City Football Club, while the New England Revolution, who are already in the postseason, will welcome Charlotte FC. Red Bulls of New York will be at home at the Red Bulls Arena to welcome Chicago Fire, while Orlando City Football Club will be at home in Orlando to welcome CF Montreal. Toronto FC, who are already out of the playoff contention, will welcome Eastern Conference table topping team FC Cincinnati, who are chasing the number one seed and also who won to get a buy and also eventually win the supporter shield they will be on the road across country to welcome to play toronto houston dynamo will be at home here at the shell energy stadium to play fc dallas in a texas derby when these two teams met early in the season that game ended one one draw minnesota will be at home in st paul's to welcome san jose earthquake nashville we parade Hani Mukta as they welcome Western Conference heavyweight Seattle Sanders, who have a new logo starting from next season. In that game, Hani Mukta will have a chance to make a strong case for another MVP crown because he's on 15 goals and he also gone in for the Golden Boot. While St. Louis, who are topping the Western Conference and the only team to have confirmed their ticket in the playoff, will be at home to welcome Sporting Kansas, who defeated Houston Dynamo 2-1 last weekend, while Colorado Rapids, who are already out of playoff contention, will be at home at the Dick Sporting Goods Stadium in Denver, Colorado, as they welcome Las Vegas, the man in green. I'm talking about Austin Football Club, while LA Galaxy will welcome Portland Timbers, who are currently on fire. Vancouver Wildcats will be at home in Vancouver as they welcome Wainroni's DC United, YLAFC, who are champions of the MLS Cup and fighting to retain their trophy. I remember last night, they lost the Campionas Cup to Tigres in a penalty shootout, 4 2, that ended in favor of that uh, Liga MS team, Tigres. They will be at home, LAFC, at the BMO to welcome Real Salt Lake. While, um, yes, uh, those are the games in both East and Western Conference as the season angles towards the home stretch who will be in who will be out i believe these weekend games in the M in the western conference carries a huge playoff implications because any point drop any point gain will position the team either in getting the position or, or in getting the playoff ticket because in the western conference only st louis are confirmed for the playoff while in the east only two spot left who will be in who will be out my teammates will tell us. And my name is Sam. Keep watching around the MLS show with Sam here on ASN Sports TV. And follow me and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we bring to you the best MLS content. Thanks for watching.